Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam Amma bad Ahabatifillah I want to pose a question And at the end of this video there will be two questions And you can put your uh, answers in the comments So this is going to be a short Very brief explanation of who Ahlul Sunnati wal Jama'ah is Or uh, the definition of Ahlul Sunnah So Ahlul Sunnati wal Jama'ah Whom? Kullu men صار من هذه الأمة على طريقة النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم وأصحابه الكرام رضي الله تعالى عنهم ومن تبع بإحسان ومن تبعهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين عقيدة ومعاملات. so أهل السنة والجماعة they are those who are upon those from the Ummah that are upon the way of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and his companions Radiallahu Ta'ala Anhum Ajma'een and those who follow them in righteousness in Aqidah, in creed and in actions until the Day of Judgment so that's who Ahlul Sunnati Wal Jama'ah is in a very general definition وَسَبَبْ فِي تَسْمِيَتِهِمْ بِذَلِكْ أَنْهُمْ تَمَسِّكُوا بِسُنَّةِ وَاجْتَمِعُوا عَلَيْهَا And the reason that they are called Ahl Sunnah is because they adhere to the Sunnah and they unite upon it. They unite upon what? Upon the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And the Prophet Sallallahu he commanded us to follow his sunnah and the sunnah of, of Umar, uh, sunnah of Abu Bakr, or Abu Bakr and Umar, and Uthman, and Ali, radiallahu ta'ala anhu majmeen, because they are the righteous Khulafa Rashidin. And the Prophet Sallallahu said, فَعَلَيْكُمْ بِسُنَّةِ وَسُنَّةِ الْخُلَفَاءِ الرَّاشِدِينَ الْمَحْدِينَ وَسُنَّةِ الْخُلَفَاءِ الرَّاشِدِينَ الْمَحْدِينَ مِنْ بَعْدِ تَمَسَّكُوا بِهَا وَعَذُوا عَلَيْهَا بِالنَّوَاجِذِ وَإِيَّاكُمْ مُحْتَثَرَ الْأَمُورِ فَإِنَّ كُلَّ بِدْعَةٍ وَكُلُّ مُحْدَثَةٍ بِدْعَةٍ وَكُلُّ بِدْعَةٍ ضَلَالَةٍ The Prophet وسلم, said in a hadith أخرجه أبو داود وترمذي وصححه إمام الالباني He said فَعَلَيْكُمْ بِسُنَّةِ وَسُنَّةِ الْخُلَفَاءِ الرَّاشِدِينَ الْمَحْدِينَ It is upon you my sunnah and the sunnah of the rightly guided khalifat that comes after me. And this means Abu Bakr, Umar, Uthman, and Ali, radiallahu ta'ala anhu majma'een. And the Prophet sallallahu said, Tamasiku biha, adhere to their sunnah, you know, adhere to my sunnah, and cling to it with your molar teeth. And beware of newly invented matters. For verily, every newly invented matter is an innovation. And every innovation is misguidance. So that's the first evidence for following the sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ and for following the path of Ahl Sunnati with Jama'ah beginning with the Sahaba. And the Prophet ﷺ said in another evidence, another hadith, which illustrates. That it's an obligation to follow his sunnah and that his sunnah is the means to heal and rectify the ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, their ills. And that means following his creed and following the creed of the sahaba radiallahu ta'ala anhu maja'een and the salaf al salih. Following their creed, their mu'amalat, their fiqh, everything and how they practiced Islam. The Prophet Sallallahu said, If tarqatil yahud ala ithnatayn ala ithna wa sab'in firqa wa if tarqatil nasara ala ithnatayn wa sab'in firqa wa sa taftariku hadhi umma ala thalatha wa sab'in firqa kullaha fin nar ila wahida kulla man hiya ya rasulullah qala man kana ala mithu ma kana alayhi wa ashabi al yawm <coughs> the Prophet ﷺ said the Jews were breaking the 71 sects, Christians in the 72 sects, my ummah in the 73 sects. All of them in the fire except one. Who He said, who are they, Ya Rasulullah? He said, those are upon what I'm upon and what my companions are upon. Al-Yawm. 
So that lets us know that the Ummah would divide into groups and sects, similar to the way the Jews and the Christians did, and that all of those groups and sects would be in the fire. Uh, the scholars mention that these 73 sects amongst the Muslims are not going to be in the fire forever. So that means they are actually Muslim, but they are on Bid'ah. And that the sects in general as a sect, because of their, they are on the minhaj of hellfire, that they are on the path because Bid'ah is misguidance and misguidance is sin. It's leading astray and it's being led astray. So that they fit the criterion of residence of the hellfire even if it is for only a period of time. So they are not those who who are in the hellfire perennially, you know, as a permanent abode like the disbelievers and the hypocrites. Uh, so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made it that our aqidah, our creed, has to be built upon the Quran and the Sunnah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Kitab al Kareem, وَمَا كَانَ لِمُؤْمِنٍ وَلَا مُؤْمِنَ إِذَا قَادَ اللَّهُ وَرَسُولُ أَمْرًا أَنْ يُكُونَ لَهُمُ الْخَيْرَ مِنْ أَمْرِهِمْ الْخَيْرَ مِنْ أَمْرِهِمْ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Kitab al Kareem, and it isn't for the believing man or the believing woman that if Allah and His Messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam issue a command for them to have a choice in the matter, so it shows us Sahaba Tifilah that the Muslim, the Mu'min, adheres to the Book and the Sunnah and has Taslim fi qalb that their hearts are content with the Quran and the Sunnah as far as how they rectify the affairs of their deen. They go back to the book and the, the sunnah. They don't go back to the birthday of the Prophet ﷺ, which is an innovative matter, which doesn't come from the religion of Islam. They don't go to other practices. Well, the Christians are doing Christmas. We need to do Christmas. They're doing Halloween. We need to do Halloween. La, the Prophet ﷺ said, Men minhum. Whoever resembles a people, he is from them. The Prophet ﷺ said, Let min kana kablakum. You will follow the way of those who came before you. So it lets us know that that is mithmum, that's actually sinful to follow other nations and other creeds and other ideologies and other peoples with their ideologies which contradict Islam and their festivals and their religious practices. So the question arises, Ahabat what is the origin of our aqidah? That's the first question. So you have to go back to what we said. We mentioned two things. The origin of, the, of our Aqidah. That's question number one. Question number two. Is it permissible to go against the Minhaj of the Salaf? The methodology of the Salaf al-Saleh. Meaning Ahlul Sunnati wal Jama'ah. And what is the evidence? As we mentioned, we mentioned Hadith. And we mentioned Ayah and Ayah. About this, so what is the evidence that it is not permissible to go against the methodology of the Salaf al-Saleh, the Aqidah of Ahl Sunnati wa Jama'ah? And the third question: Or we'll just leave it at those two questions, and we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Wassallallahu wasallam ala Nabiyyina Muhammad, and leave your answers in the comments.